What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for OddsShopper.com, back again with my four favorite plays on No House Advantage. We're taking on the house. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Make sure you are following me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman, because on normal slates that have a bunch of games, you're probably going to get more than one No House Advantage card from me, so you don't want to miss that. Make sure you're following along. Or maybe you do want to miss it because... That over there, I looked the wrong way. That over there, even though I gotta look the wrong way, it doesn't matter. Uh, it didn't go well yesterday. I thought it might, honestly. Mobley was close, was trending pretty well. I ended up losing that one late. Boy, oh boy, did Isaiah Joe look good in the first half. We're like, oh yeah, we're definitely printing an under here. They take him out of the lineup in the second half and then he goes absolutely insane and blows this one clean out of the water. Somehow Anthony Edwards uh, did not pull down five and a half boards. He landed right on five, had a terrible game offensively too. The one guy that we did get was Russ. That made me feel pretty good, but we gotta have a short memory with this stuff. Hitting four out of four parlays is not gonna happen every day. All we can do is hope to get as many right as we possibly can and pay off elsewhere. We've already got one in our pocket already in this series. Let's see if we can get another one. Let's do it right now. First one up for me is going to be an under, and it's not one that's going to feel all that great, but we're taking the under on CJ McCollum's points. The line is set at 21 and a half. I got him at basically 20 on the dot. So we're coming in under that mark for a couple reasons just off the top of my head. One, they've got Josh Richardson now in the starting lineup. That's just going to be a little bit more usage than anybody else that they had been putting out there, whether that's Trey Murphy or... Najee Marshall, any any of those other guys that have been stepping into the lineup were a bit lower value guys on an offensive side. That's not really what we're getting out of Josh Richardson so far. Two, with Brandon Ingram back and healthy again, he's just going to take a little bit more of the offense. Uh, and we're, he's established himself at this point at like 35 to 37 minutes a night. So there's just little things that are slightly going against CJ McCollum now that are putting him maybe a little too high in the markets. And that's why I looked at the data at stochastic.com. It's in line with my data as well. And when that happens, I feel pretty good. So under 21 and a half real points for CJ McCollum. Now this one I absolutely love. Julius Randle's assist prop is set at three and a half. I got him at four and a half. I love this one. I don't really have too much to add here. Like one, I, I have him projected for a full assist over the number. So right away, it just looks fantastic. But it's hard for me to dig into like why I like assist props. He averages more than four assists a game already. We only need to get to four. It's weird to me that the line is at three and a half. To me, this is a very clear spot where the line should be four. Because they're really not as interested in doing something like that and bringing into pushes here, the line is set at three and a half. But if you got a three and a half line out in the wild, you're going to see that be shaded to the over. What we don't have to worry about here is juice on either side. It's three and a half coin flip territory, which means I think it's very, very easy to want to take the over for Randall. So take the benefit here at three and a half a line that I think is just a bit too low. It's just sort of in no man's land, and that's a benefit to us. Take advantage of the value that exists. Take the over three and a half. Back to the Pelicans for this next prop, and I am going to Joe Val. Over 14 and a half points. The line is set at 14 and a half, like I just said, man, I'm dumb. But I've got it at 16.9. I don't think he's being represented well in the markets today at all. We've seen him play about 30 minutes in the past three games. And now today, Larry Nance is out. Normally, when you see someone's backup be out, you can tend to get like an extra minute or two. Even if you don't think that's the case, and he's going to play like 29 minutes today, I don't think that he's getting the right representation. He went through such a long stretch of playing like 23 to 26 minutes that I don't think they're ready for the, the reestablishment of Joval in that starting lineup playing bigger minutes. Two and a half points clear of this line. To me, this is the easiest one to want to get to. I just don't, I expect him to play big minutes here. They're not ever really interested in going to the Willie Hernan Gomez's of the world. So I think Joval can take on everything that he can handle. Barring foul trouble, this is the easiest prop you'll get to. Now I need you guys to do two things. One, if you haven't signed up at No House Advantage yet, do that right now. Link in the description of this video. Head on over, make a deposit, use the promo code STOCHASTIC if you can. 
you make a deposit of up to $100, they're gonna match it up to $100. So whatever number you put in up to 100, that's what you're gonna get in bonus cash. That's, it's just fantastic. It's the perfect way to start out a bankroll. We have plenty of content for NHA at Stochastic. And the way that you access that is through the Pick'em Pro package, which you see on the screen right now. I'm looking at it. I can see it right there. It's right in front of me. 50% off your first week using the promo code SCORE. This is normally around a $9.95 package. You get it for less than five bucks. That's a copy at Starbucks. You're gonna get all of the props that exist at No House Advantage ranked based on the models that we have behind the scenes ranked with their winning percentages. So you don't even have to dig in all that much. You can just show up at the table, see the props that have the best win rates, grab them, load them right in to no house advantage against the house props, print some money, folks. I'm telling you, that's the way to do it. And your worst case scenario is you're out five bucks for a week. If you just absolutely hated the experience, you don't have to stick around all that long and it's only five bucks. I think that's a pretty good deal for you guys to check out what we have behind the paywall. So go check out. Pick them pro. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like this one because this guy, is, I don't ever get him right, but I gotta take it today. RJ Barrett, over one and a half three-pointers made. I got it at 1.7. This is a guy that's averaging 1.8 made threes per game this season. Now, his role has changed a little bit now that Josh Hart is here. His downside is a lot bigger, but I don't care really about his downside. There are going to be situations where RJ Barrett plays 34 to 40 minutes this season if things are going well. There was a time in his life where he was a 40% three-point shooter. I think the, that time has gone by the wayside, but the Celtics don't really have much of an issue giving up above the break threes. Those are, those are the types of threes that RJ Barrett is going to take. They are in the bottom 10% in the league in allowing those attempts. I just want attempts from RJ Barrett. If he's getting the shots up, we're bound to see two of them fall. Celtics cut out corner threes. That's not something I'm as worried about here for Barrett, a guy that likes to have the ball in his hands out top. So it's not the most fun one. He's gonna hit one and then the sweat is really on, but I think there's just too much value in the number. We're going over one and a half made threes for RJ Barrett. That's gonna do it, folks. Picks are on the screen. The card has been placed. You can see it over here. I'll point even faster. There we go. We got it. CJ McCollum. Under in points, Julius Randle over in assists. We're gonna go ahead and take Joe Val over in points. And we're also going to take RJ Barrett over one and a half, three pointers made. Hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell. Follow me on Twitter if you want more content from No House Advantage. That's gonna be at Josh Engelman. Good luck tonight, guys. We're taking no breaks. We're back again tomorrow, doing again. Make sure you're watching. Good luck tonight. Who's tailing me?